Hey class, today we are going to be discussing etymology. Um, previous lessons we've discussed connotation, denotation, and how to use a thesaurus and a dictionary, whether it was printed or online. All right, so let's begin with the definition. Etymology. The two definitions are, it's the study of the origin of words and the way in which their meanings have changed throughout history. Also, the origin of a word and the historical developments of its meaning. If you didn't already know, words' meanings can change over time. Okay, we've got three examples that we're going to go over today so you kind of understand what the origin of a word, its etymology, means. The first word we have is disaster. The origin is in Italian and Greek. Um, it's linked to the French word disastre, and basically, D meaning, D right here meaning bad, and aster meaning star. So ultimately, literally translated, the word means bad star. Ancient Greeks very much believed that any type of unfavorable alignment of planets could indicate bad situations or events in the world, hence the origin of disaster. The second word is genes. Genes are known for being very American, but they were actually originally created in Italy. Uh, Levi Strauss, his first mass production of jeans, which they also refer to as trousers or denim, were, were produced in Genoa, Italy. And so the word jeans is basically linked to its origin of production, Genoa. Okay, the last word, which is my favorite, salary. Salary is known for, it's the Latin word of salarium, so, which means salt. The payment of salt and the use of salt the, was very, very popular in ancient times. Salt was considered to be very, very um, valuable and was referred to as white gold, actually. Uh, salt could be used as a um, preservative for food. It could be used as uh, payment for labor in ancient times, and it could be used as a first aid um, additive when dealing with wounds. So basically, what happened is in the Egyptian empire, laborers would get paid with salt, and it was beneficial so they could use it for their food and things like that. And then further on, the Roman empire continued to use that process and paid with salt, and they also added the indication, the calendar time, they paid at the end of the month for all the work throughout that month. And so this practice is seen today in current times, and hence the word salary. Okay, so you've got these three words, disaster, genes, and salary. I hope that that helps you understand the origin, the etymology of a word. So your quick bit for today, a little bit of added knowledge, they're word families. And basically that's indicative of words that are similar. So there's two very popular ones, Latin and Germanic. So Latin, their words, French, Spanish, and English are, very, are known very much to have Latin origins. And then the Dutch and Swedish, and also English, have Germanic um, uh, origins, uh, also known as word families. So um, that's your lesson for today. Uh, please pick a word and uh, find the origin of it so we can discuss them in class. And then we can tie all of these lessons together.